Pete Johnson, the head brewer at the brew house. Every year we make a commemorative beer for the uh, zoo's uh, annual zoo brew. This year the uh, animal we're uh, celebrating is the gorilla and we help, thought it would be fun to let the gorilla help choose the ingredient. Okay, we have three kinds of fruit here. We have the mangoes on the far right. We've got uh, grapefruit there in the middle and we've got some orange over there on our uh, left. Then we also have three types of grain. This is uh, malted wheat here on the left, malted barley in the middle, and then there's some roasted barley. Wow, here he comes. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it looks like he's looking at the dark grain. He gives it a smell. Uh, he smelled it. He's smelling the fruit. Oh, he's eating one. Yeah, he likes the orange. He's going to check out this, the uh, light grain. No, no barley. How about that grapefruit? Yeah, he likes grapefruit. Uh, he's checking out the wheat. Uh, he's going to eat a little wheat. Well, maybe not. How about those mangoes? So fruit seems pretty popular on the gorilla diet today. Not so interested in grain, but he liked the fruit. Came out the uh, definitely preferred the citrus fruit, the uh, tropical fruits. We had mangoes. We had grapefruit and we had oranges. And the girl liked all three of those. So we're going to make a beer with, uh, with hops that uh, mimic these citrus uh, and tropical fruit flavors. But they did eat a little of the wheat so we'll definitely put some wheat in this beer and we'll use some light colored barley to uh, balance it out. He, they did not even uh, attempt to eat the, the dark grains so it's going to be a light colored beer. <laughs> 